Good morning, viewers. Today at ACI, we're gonna be going in and changing things. I'm gonna be taking over. So uh, right here, we have a GTR. Oh, Toe That's Bryce coming in late. Yep, he's late. Damn, must be nice to show up to work at any time you want. Dude, I did more already than when you woke up this morning. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's go see Tyler. Enough with these BMWs. We gotta get more Volkswagens here, huh? Good morning, Tyler! <laughs> what, up, what are man? we doing? Bro, Dude, doing Bryce so? just got in. I know he's late, dude. What time is it? Like 9.30? Dude, it's 9.30. He said he did more than all of us all morning. <laughs> Look at the dogs! <laughs> Bryce, let her go. Come on. Let her go. Callie, come on! Callie, let's go! The baby pulls her ear. Look at her face, dude. let her go. Let her go. Come on, let her run. You want to chase her across the parking lot? No, I ain't chasing her across the parking lot. No way. All right, drop her now. Ow! Let's see what Justin is doing. Good morning, Justin. What are we working on today? Ferrari. Ferrari fudge. Ferrari fudge. What are we doing to it? Guy wants to spend some money. Good morning, Joe. Well, hello. What are we doing today? Working on cars. You're working on this? Or this? Or maybe this? Or maybe finally that? Or, no, Martin's in Hawaii. That's not getting worked on. I'm going to go do an oil change on this Jeep, and then guess what? Bring in another what you, Volkswagen. Volkswagen? Which one? On an R? Dude. What are you bringing in? Ours for days, baby. How many you got? You're looking good today. Yo, you excited? For, you excited for yours to come in? Yeah. What do you think about that MK8? The MK8 was nice. That was nice. Too. That was nice. That, that color was. Really you got nice. gel in your hair? No, I got uh, leave-in conditioner. What do you think about that comment with That's the nice. brake clean? <laughs> <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fudge. What's up today, Fudge? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fudge, what'd you find on this oh, Ferrari? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn the camera around. Turn the camera around? What do you mean? Towards I me? I'm gonna pull something out. Huh? Turn the camera around, Tyler. Look Towards at the Ferrari. Us? Look at the color. That's Ferrari red. Actually, it's a little bit maroon. <laughs> Rosa Corsa. Oh, oh, my man. We got, we got Ferrari fudge in the building. I gotta pull well, out the gold links. Well, we're working on the Rarries. We gotta pull out the links, baby. Good luck. That's good luck right there. All right, fudge. So what are we trying to diag on this? Well, we're not diagging anything. Uh, customer complaint. The only thing is, like, sometimes he has a tough time going into first gear. Um, it's a gated six-speed, which is nice. Um, Those are sweet. But the car is 13,000 miles on it. I think he just picked it up. So we're just kind of going through it, seeing what's going on. I mean, it's a very clean car. Um, it's Super convertible, clean. so that's a red flag, but that's okay. Why is that a red red flag? Because it's a convertible. Do you like convertible? There's a lot of moving parts in convertibles, <laughs> and they don't last very long. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we have the whole underbody exposed here. Yeah, I took off all the shielding, so we got the engine, the transmission, everything exposed. Uh, just going through it. There's a little valve cover leak to so take care of. Uh, overall, it's it's in very very good shape. Um, I like it. I would mess with one of these. For it's sure. sharp, yeah. especially the gated too. Gated, it's you nice. know, it's a 430, which is you know, it's a little bit beefier than the 360, you know, the previous generation. Um, yeah, sweet, sweet. Hey Nick, what are we working on this A4? This A4, we're gonna do a compression check because uh, the valves are clacking like a mother. So we're gonna do a compression check. She already knows the engine's blown, but she doesn't want to just know the engine's blown. She wants to know what's blown. So what we're gonna do with that is after the compression test, 
compression numbers are probably gonna be very low, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a leak down test and we're gonna find out if it's in the cylinder head or if it's in the the um, the lower end, you know, Sweet. maybe a ring land, um, hole in the piston. If I had an estimate, it's something with the head though. These have a lot of head problems. Um, it's a timing belt motor, but in the back, only one cam the f gets driven off the uh, timing belt. The other cam, it's a dual cam motor. The other cam gets driven off the chain, which drives off the other camshaft that drives by the timing belt. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What'd I say? Talking about camshafts, baby. I'll talk about you when I stick to my camshaft. <laughs> cam All right, Fudge, what's the update? How are we looking? Yeah. Looking over the whole car, it needs a little stuff here and there. Um, and now we just got to pull it together, contact the customer, see if he wants to pull the trigger. Sweet. All right. Hey, Nick. Tyler. What's going on? Well, her battery is a little weak, so we're going to put a little extra on it. A little extra juice. Yeah. Um, we got the compression tester hook up. You're going to get in and turn the key. We're going to do a compression check. We already know that's going to come out bad, but I want the numbers anyway. So after that, then we're going to do a leak down test. Leak down test, I don't need your help for. All right, here we go. I'm going to get in the car here. Go ahead. Go. All right. So that one, we have about a little bit under 120. Um, these should be about 180 usually. Um, we're going to go to the next cylinder now. All right, Nick, just let us know about this one. Cylinder two? All right. Tell about cylinder two. So cylinder two actually has what I was saying, how they should be around 180. Cylinder two actually has 180. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the air out of the compression tester. Um, we're going to switch it. Cylinder one has 120. Cylinder two has 180. Um, now we're going to switch it to cylinder three. And then uh, we'll let you guys know what three and four are. But this is how you do a basic compression test. And then what you would do is, um, if you know your motor shot, it's shot. You could either call it a day there, order a junkyard motor. But what we do here is we want to actually know what's shot. So cylinder two is okay at 180 and cylinder one is bad at 120. That's a, that's a pretty significant difference. So what we want to do is hook up a leak down tester, which I'll show you what that is. And that's going to tell us if the leak down is inside the upper end of the motor or if it's in the lower end of the motor. Um, so we'll show you that next. All right, Fudge. What are we checking out here? Um, on this piece of um, Damn. I hate Gallardo. Do you? Yeah. What if it was gated? Um, front end noise, oil change. So front end noise, so we're gonna get in. Hopefully not hit the door on the lift. No, we ain't hit the door. Okay, get your little skinny ass in there. Yeah. Oh, almost lost my shoe. All right. Go ahead and start her up, Tyler. <laughs> All right, so we, we're putting it in gear, right? You wanna... yeah, you're going to need to turn off traction, okay? All right. You ready? All right. Wait, wait, hold on. Right, let me pull you up in here. We're going to try to hear, to see if we can hear this front end click. Yeah, so we got a front end clicking problem going on. We're probably not going to hear it. We're going to try to figure it out. Right, Fudge? Damn, you look... You look tan. You. So loud. You look tan. What? You look tan. Tan? I prefer olive. <laughs> Alright, Nick. What's happening? We're now we're going to do the leak down. Remember that um, cylinder 2, 3, and 4 had 180, which is spec. Cylinder 1 had... Cylinder 1 had 120. So we're going to find out if it's intake valves, exhaust valves, or maybe a piston ring in the crankcase. <laughs> Hook up the leak down tester, right? We have our PSI here. We have the gauge set. So what we see this right here, this adjuster, we want to leave it in the set range, right? So that's set, okay? Now we're going to plug it into this with Justin under the car holding the crankshaft so it doesn't move. We're going to plug it in. Whoa. Now what we have here is uh, almost, it's very, very obviously in the red. It's the cylinder is completely leaking. Um, the O2 sensor is out so we can feel air coming out of the exhaust, see if it's an ex uh, exhaust valve. Um, we have the 
top of the PCV breather off to see if it's coming out of the intake valve. Both of them have no air. What I did is I already did this before we're filming. Um, I put a glove on the uh, um, oil filter cap. Obviously, the glove is completely filled with air. So there is a crack in the piston or a hole in the piston or probably likely in this case since it's an FSI motor, it's a ringland failure. Um, typically, like your sil cylinder number four on a Subaru. Martin. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Martin. Here. So this rubber glove obviously is not like this is not photoshopped. Obviously, see. Obviously, <laughs> obviously there's a crack. There's that's, a crack that's Nick at night. So uh yeah, so that's uh that's your diac that uh something in the lower end went. Thanks, Nick. You got it, Tyler. Hey fudge. What are we doing back here? Acrobatics. <laughs> Acrobatics in the in the convertible. Yeah. yeah. You doing an oil change on this one? Yeah. Did you hear anything in the front when we had it spinning? I did not, but the brakes are pretty shot, and uh, the shock is blowing out on the passenger front. So maybe that noise he's hearing is the shock. So Lamborghini really dropped the ball on, on their oil filter location on this one. Um, yeah, it's tucked away good back there, huh? It's not back here. I wish it was back here. It's, it's, it's actually under. It's there. under there? Yeah. So. Oh, man. Yeah. If you're going to buy a Gallardo, just buy an LP one, for the love of God. Right under the V10, huh? Yeah. That's fun. So. <laughs> hey, Nick. What are we working on? Another day, another hour. Now there are, baby. What are we doing? Well, we're putting on uh, BBS wheels with Blizzak tires. Yep. We're also doing a holodeck service. Yep. And we're also doing an oil change. Um, what and is I, the uh, holodeck service? I would have showed you, but you were so <laughs> lazy to come over over here because I already did it. I was it. with like 10 clients. If you want to see it. Why don't you show them the picture of you with your dog? <laughs> Yo. Yo, show them the picture of you with your dog. Tyler, what we have here is a drain plug, okay? Yeah. What we have here is a fill plug. You're on the opposite side, so the viewers can't even yeah, actually see, see what you're talking here. about. Let me, let, me, let me get over here, Nate. Okay. What do we have here? Drain plug. And a fill plug. Yeah. For the holodex. Okay. Then we all, don't get confused because we also have fill-in drains for the rear dip. Yeah. We have the drain here and the fill here. That's the rear dip. People want to know what the holodex is, okay? Drain yeah. fill, right? Then that's all we drain and fill that, okay? That's what the dealers do. We we go one step farther. This is the holodex pump, okay, with the screen in it. Because yeah. the filter in this holodex system is the pump. The screen filter is part of the pump. It's not like the Mark IV Golf R where you have an external you have a filter too. Right. Okay? You got that? Yeah, no. Alright, good. So what we do hey, is we hey, take these two hey, tens hey. out, we pull this motor out. Stop. Once we, we pull this we motor can out tow with these cars? Once we pull this motor out. <laughs> You hear this? That's Once we sick. pull this motor out, we get all the nasty, oh, greasy contaminants of the clutch material out yep. when we clean it so that it doesn't clog the pump, burn out the pump, and then you have a two-wheel drive golf bar. That would suck. So we do a very thorough job. And yep. I only charge 100 bucks. So stop going to the Quack. dealer. Call us to book now. Stop going to the dealer. Call us to book now. Just come to the best. Show them the best. On the lip. On the lip. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>